Here we are working on a MacBook 15 inch. Customer said the laptop suffered liquid damage and it doesn't power on anymore. Looking at the board, just quick physical inspection by the naked eye. I do not see anything obvious, but we're gonna take a look at it under the microscope to see what's going on. Now the laptop does have a green light when you plug the charger in. The green light turns orange, which indicates that the battery is being charged, but it doesn't power on. Keyboard is not the problem, battery is not the problem, but there's something going on that's causing the laptop not to power on. So the first thing I wanna do is quick physical inspection to see if we see anything obvious. If we do not see anything obvious, then we're gonna start testing the basic voltage rails to see if we have 12 volts, if we have five volts, if we have 3.3 volts, so on and so forth. Let's flip the board. And oh, yes, there is something going on on back of the board. Right off the bat, I see a problem here. The ISL chip, along with all the components surrounding the chip, that makes it work. Okay, uh, what's this in the middle? It's probably blown. It's a blown chip. Yeah, uh, we're gonna have to replace the chip. The first thing I wanna do is apply some flux to this area. We have a donor board here, so we're gonna restore the capacitor that flew out. Let's grab a donor board, and we have one here. And we're gonna put it right over here. Let's prop the board and solder a new chip. Let's grab an ISL chip. This is the 6259. And a lot of those chips, connectors, ICs, components for MacBooks and iMacs will be posted on our website. Just quick clean up here. What I want to do is test the current sense resistors. We have those two here. They should read 10 ohms each, this and this. Let me open up the circuit diagram so I can show you what I mean. We're going to be testing current sense resistors here, R7121 and R7122. And if we look at the board diagram, actually, let me go open this here. So we want to test R7121, R7122, and both of them should be 10 and 10. And board diagram shows that R7121, R7122 are located right here. So if we test here, instead of getting 10 ohms, we have 11 kilo ohms. That's not good. And this one, 179 ohms. So the values are not reading 10.
Okay, so now we are reading 10. And we are reading 10, very good. I wanna test uh, the other set of current sense resistors. We wanna test those two on the bottom. One of them should be two and the other one should be zero ohms right here. 2.2 and zero ohms. R7151, R7152. And right over here. That's R7151 and that's R7152. We are reading 400, 300, 350 kilo ohms. That's bad. What about this one? Reading two. So this one is bad. This one is bad. Let's replace it with a zero ohm resistor. Okay, so let's measure again. We should have zero ohms and two ohms. So this one is measuring two, and this one is measuring zero. Very good. We're gonna assemble the board and test. Hopefully laptop will turn on. Motherboard inside the case. Battery connected, LVDS cable connected. Hard drive connected. Keyboard connected, and let's see. I'm gonna have to hold it like this so the battery does not fall out. No green light. Yes. Green light, do we have anything? Do we have anything, is fan spinning? Yes, fan spinning, right there. <laughs> connected it's working laptop is working when customer first brought the computer to the shop uh, she was worried about the information we told her you have two options we can either save the information for you on an external drive do data recovery or we can fix the computer the motherboard and by doing so you will get both a computer and your data back it's gonna cost you more if we fix the board or we can just do data recovery customer told us to fix the computer and she mentioned if it doesn't work out, then we can do option B, which is get her information back. Computer is working, everything is good. I'm glad everything turned out well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions and we'll do something else in the next video.